Hey guys, Mr. B here, and I'm uh, bringing you a uh, Math 3205 video, and this one's specifically for math, advanced math students. So if you're an academic, you can turn away, I guess. You can watch it. You're not gonna, you might learn something good, but uh, this is a max revenue problem, and historically, the last two years, if you look at the outcome analysis, they've asked the max revenue problem as their max min situation. So it might be an idea to have a look at these and make sure you understand how to do them. So this one, you have a gardener who is uh, selling roses and usually sells out at a price of $20 each. Now he decides that he's going to increase his price $2.50 and the uh, survey says that 20, he's going to get 25 less flowers sold. So we're looking, trying to determine what's going to give him the max revenue. So if you're thinking about revenue of anything, really, uh, revenue, I'll just call it rev, is equal to the price times number sold so in our case it's flowers so we're looking to determine we need to know a price in terms of some variable and usually we'd call it n and n is going to represent the number of price increases so uh, n and the number sold so uh, it's easy to create two linear equations for this situation so uh, the price it's going to be, well, they start out at 20, and he's going to increase the price $2.50, and he can do that again and again and again. So 250, 250 cents N. So for one price increase, the price is um, $22.50, and for uh, two prices, just be, keep going 25 and so on. Now, so for every price increases, He's going to have 25 less flowers sold. So he starts out at 750 sold minus 25 in. So he loses 25 customers for every price increase. So we, what we have here is actually a quadratic. Is what type of function you're, are you supposed to get? You're supposed to get a quadratic here. So uh, we have to foil this out. So let's see. Um, 20 times 750 is 1,500. Um, then we have minus 500 in. And then that's going to be 2.5 times 750 is 1875 n. And then 2.5 times 25, I think, is 62.5 n squared. So hopefully I did my math right on that. So now what I have to do is, is just reduce this down and in a such a way that uh, we have it in general form. So let's see. All we got to do really is reduce this inner part here. So 15,000. So that's going to be... 1375 in minus 62.5 n squared. So here's my revenue equation. So this gives me the revenue for any type of price increase. So recognize now that it's asking us for the greatest price increase. So when we think greatest for a quadratic, we think mid, uh, vertex. So max greatest vertex. So when we think vertex, we think axis of symmetry. So n is equal to negative b over 2a. So n is going to be, let's see, negative 75 divided by 2. Recognize that even though this is reversed order, this is still a, uh, negative 62.5. So hopefully this gives us a good number. And it does, it gives us 11. It's a fairly large number, actually. So, let's see, so n equals 11. So now it's going to ask, because that's the number of price increases we need. So now we want to know the greatest revenue, so the actual revenue he makes. So, um, the greatest revenue is going to be when this guy is equal to 11. So essentially the y coordinate of the vertex. So the revenue, or the greatest revenue here, is going to be this guy. All right, so just give me a second to calculate this. Remember that we have to do 11 squared first. 11 squared times 62.5. times 11. So, looks like he's going to make 22,000 
562.5, according to my calculations here. Um, yep, so that looks okay. Now what we can do is we can actually find the price he sells them at and the number he will sell. So the price he sells them is going to be just uh, 2.5 times 11 plus 20. So 2.5 times 11 plus 20. 2.5 times 11 plus 20. That's just given in my general form, so put it in here and equals here. So that's going to be $47.5. Dollar sign in that. And the number sold, and this is a way of checking that number, because this number seems kind of large to me. Number sold, 750 minus 25 times 11. So 25 times 11 is 275, so minus 275. So he sells 475 flowers. So we multiply, if we want to figure out now, check our answer, we can multiply these two numbers together and see what we get. And we get exactly the same number, so we are good. So guys, that's really how you do those type of problems. Um, pretty much a, a fairly, you know, it's, it's, they're not easy problems. The hardest part is setting it up, so just be, be careful with that. You need to do some practice with them. I actually have another one that we can set up together, and I'm not going to take you through solving it, but you guys can do that on your own. So uh, an orange score has 400 crates of oranges, um, and we'll have 20 more crates uh, each day the shipment has delayed. The present price is $60 per crate. However, for each day the shipment is delayed, the price decreases by $2. So write a quadratic equation that models the growth. So let's call n the number of days the shipment is delayed. Uh, delays in shipment. So, again, the idea behind revenue is the price times number sold. So, sometimes the price can be profit. In this case, it looks like, you know, the profit, uh, there's, like the example I gave you before of the, um, the restaurant problem, where the profit was, you had to subtract off the $12 for each meal as well. All right, so the present price is $60 per crate. So it starts at 60, but decreases for each day the shipment is delayed by $2. So 2N, so that's the price of the crate. And then he starts at 400, but the number increases by N, or, or increases by 20 um, crates each day it's, it's delayed. So you want to find the maximum revenue. So what you need to do, you need to make this into a, a general form of quadratic. Use x is equal to negative b over 2a, which gives the x coordinate of the vertex, x coordinate. Then find the y coordinate by summing it back in, and that's going to be your revenue. All right, guys, so try that problem, finish it off, see what you get. It should be a good number. Um, if there's any questions, you can ask me about it if you want me to finish off that problem. All right, guys, I'll see you in class.